Take two, episode two. Take one, episode two, I mean. Hey, welcome back, guys. We're still at the episode one, part two. And for this part of the episode one, we're gonna have a little interview right off the bat with Jack. Uh, damn, what's his last name? I mean, we're gonna explain everything about how I met him. Basically, it was at the climbing gym. I can do exercises. I just cannot do too much that, you know, I'll tense my jaw or chew. So I can't chew for six weeks after the surgery was done. And I had to wear these elastics and braces. It is quite annoying the amount of metal and braces that are poking me from every angle possible inside my mouth. The pain is okay. No chewing, it's, it's, it's harsh. It's quite annoying how you cannot chew anything on a liquid diet the funny thing is after the surgery it was written on my board the liquid diet and the woman comes to me she asked me for one coffee and like i said before coffee is bad for healing uh, the bone process i said bring something you know a uh, vegan and she brings me a potato a big potato it wasn't even smashed i asked can you mash potatoes and it brings me a big potato where i need to smash it myself and salad like lettuce and tomato, but I can't do anything with that. No, I even suck it. It was right after the surgery, you know, I couldn't even open my mouth, so it was hard. But yeah, and then I asked, do you guys have a blender? And then the woman didn't like the question. She said, no, this is a hospital, we don't have a blender. And then, okay, yeah, I smashed the potatoes as much as I could and ate that potato. And then later they brought me, what was it? A yogurt, I think. But I can't wait to eat something. Recently, if I dip a really soft bread and suck it, works perfectly <laughs> so yeah quite funny but today is the 18th and it's been three weeks yes on thursday it's been three weeks what's the month september october 5th is the day of the trip ah by the way uh this is my merch if you guys want to help anyway designed by durak my wifey and then this is a pin by karina is her name I will leave also her Instagram. Designed by her, it's super cool. You can buy some, we really love them. Check this one out. I haven't used this one yet, but it's super dope, huh? Looks like great quality. So I'll leave her Insta in the description. And if you wanna buy, just reach out to her. She's also a great artist. And anyways, we're gonna be bringing a lot of people from the community uh, in general, because you know, together we can. But with no further ado, let's get into it. Episode one, part two. This is the rating, green, orange, blue, purple, red, white, yellow, and then the pink one is the competition one. So it starts from easy and getting harder, and then the pink one can be anywhere here, of these. Uh, ah! Oh, oh, shit, man! I should've swapped it. Oh, it's fucking on. Yeah. That one didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Score. How's it going guys? This is Jack. Hello. When I first came to this gym in Liverpool, he was the one that gave me orientation. An induction. That's the one. We're gonna ask him some questions because he's a nice guy and has a <laughs> cool accent and good hair. So Jack, yeah. tell us your passion for climbing. When did it start? End of 2018. I used to get like really depressed around Christmas. Like, all the dark months and no sun. Bit of an introvert, like sitting in my room, like playing games, sticking to a few friends. And then I wanted to do something to get out. I needed to socialize, I needed to feel better about myself and stuff like that. Searched up climbing, because always climb trees, always climb walls and a bit of parkour and stuff like that, and I enjoyed it. And I started climbing here in like the end of 2018, October, and it became my life for a while. Coming like five days a week, just solid hammering stuff. I was going home and like watching videos and, and just getting really excited about it. The vibe that this place brings, everyone has their own story, everyone does like different things. Love that about this place. You know, I wouldn't have met you. It wasn't exactly. for like being here. It brings people from all walks of life and I think that kept me going. This is the longest hobby I've ever had. True, very nice community of climbing. You always, like you said, you meet people from all over. They're all very nice, like a family. Like True. skateboarding. Yeah, for sure. It's a bit of an addiction. Yeah. Because you just want to go climb always. You chase the, the emotion, like the feeling of climbing something and achieving something that your body's done, and then you chase the friendship that you make where people like psych you up. Good group of people around here that instill confidence in me. These people are here to support me doing something that I really enjoy. That's like a beautiful relationship to have and to nurture, take into my life. Like I think like climbing 
you know, not just because of fitness and stuff, some mental health, establishing like long-term relationships with people that are for the fun of interacting with each other, which is what like I felt when I first started climbing quite a lot, like, mm. like competition with people. And then because of COVID, I built a wall in my back garden just out of some old pallets that I found <laughs> because I realized that like I climb because I enjoy it myself, because I want to do it, not because I'm competing with anyone. Like I had no one to compete with, just myself. That COVID actually really helped me like reevaluate what I wanted from climbing. I don't care about if I don't get it or not. It does this look fun? Am I going to enjoy this with other people around me? Like, yeah, then I want to do it. You're keeping your body in shape, getting stronger every time you're climbing, you're using like crazy muscles. Myself, I don't like the gym because it's boring. What do you think about the gym? Fucking no, no way. Yeah. I can't handle it, mate. Going and standing in like one spot with my headphones on and just not talk to anyone. And See the difference. And I don't want to bash people at the gym because I know some people find solace in that and that's awesome. But for me, nah, it's not my cup of tea. Everyone has their own thing because people love the gym, you know, like The Rock. Dude's a unit. <laughs> the dude is a gym, basically. <laughs> yeah, he, he is, isn't it? He's basically a gym. Everyone have their own ways, options, opinions, and likings. Any shout outs you want to hey, give? Look at that fucking... I just did a little split here. He's impressed. He went... This is as far as I can go. I like sitting it. like this. This is my favorite. That's yeah, quite... Man, these knees to the ground. That's quite flexible. So, things you want to say to the people that are watching. You're in the first episode. I know, mate. I'm so blessed. Thank you so much. Yeah. Saying hello. I don't know, man. Do stuff that you love. Do stuff that you enjoy. Find something that brings you, like, happiness and makes you feel content and, like, nurture that. And nurture with people that think the same way. Always have something to kind of, like, hold on to for yourself, you know? as much as it is for the people. Yeah. And made to that, we're gonna leave his little uh, Insta here. Thank you, Jack, my man. Thank you very much, man. Oh, shit, the tattoo. Uh, so, uh, Nasa did this tattoo. It looks sick. Yeah, man, I'm really happy. Tell us a bit about the story. Always wanted a dog. Wait, I remember watching Marley and Me. My God, dude. That's it, the like, movie that I could never watch it again. Mate, I didn't have a dog. I watched it and I, I felt utterly utterly broken i was just crying <laughs> into pillows like it hurt me so bad yeah ever since i was a kid i just wanted a pair and we got uh, bailey his name was uh, although we call him pig i was like 15 and i'm 27 now so like 12 years ago and he died in january this year my brother and my boy yeah um i had a very deep relationship with for sure man him, 10 know? years and yeah exactly and like formative years years that like you grow up you literally went through Marley and me. 100% worst loss I've ever had. Sorry for your loss. Thank you, I appreciate that. It's like losing a little brother. And what's a way to like kind of have him with? Because I've got like ADHD, I forget shit so quick. I'll be gone and I'll just forget about stuff. And then suddenly it hits me and I'm like, I don't want to just suddenly get hit by this thing repeatedly. Like every time I see another dog or whatever, I was like, I want something with me that, you know, he's with me. My he boy, is. like, it's from his last walk. From his, he had a muddy paw and he put him on the, the towel and it left this beautiful imprint. I really want that done. And then I checked out Nasty's Instagram, like, after chatting to you, like, the last time you were here. Yeah. Um, and her work's sick. Like, it's so dope. It's so, like, unique. Like, she has a style and I, I fuck with it. I got this on a Monday. Five days. Made by Tidurak. Exactly. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure having you on the channel. Thank you. And until next time I come back to take off my braces. Yeah, man. We'll hold them. <laughs> yeah, Jig. <laughs> She's from the Chinese so guitar on. Yeah. And then quickly you know. I reckon so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the V7s. Well, I saw Christy do the end of it. It's mad looking. I see like a pan. Yeah, that pan. And then you match and go in to the end. You work here? Uh, yeah, man. I worked here for 10 months. 10 months. So I've climbed here for three and a bit years on and off. And then worked here for since October, I think, last year. Best job I've ever had. You know? For real. I coach, like, I coach some of the kids, yeah. which is really fun. Yeah. Because I like, have a bunch of like four to six years old, like they're just mental. <laughs> they have so much energy and they say the like weirdest things. But it's amazing because it's like it brings you back to being a kid. Yeah. Like, I want to play games, you're a shark. I didn't really get that a lot in the rest of my life. Yeah, so it's quite yeah. nice to like play. Oh, should we get some ice? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get myself some ice because I've been talking way too much than I'm used to. My jaw is sore. Uh, you can see here, it's decent. Grab. Look at this. Someone's supposed to hold that. Like what? <laughs> hair's down. Hair's down. Hair's down. Look at this. Yeah. It's mouth. 
Oh my god, that's exhausting. Nice. That's a wrap? That's a wrap. That's an unwrap. <laughs> that's an unwrap. <laughs> Yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. Make uh, any comments about your thoughts. What do you guys think? Have you climbed before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What were your thoughts in general? Really, just comment anything. It would help the algorithm. It's a brand new channel. Any help is uh, available. And if you want to donate for the surgery expenses, somewhat uh, 6,500. I'll leave the link in the description for PayPal, Revolut, Estonian bank account. Anyways, this was recorded Sunday, the 18th of, I'll keep you updated anyways. Have a blessed day, drink water, enjoy the sun while you can, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day guys, love.